Hi, today we're making fried fish and shrimp. Greasy spoon kind of day. First, we're going to start off by patting down the shrimp with a paper towel. This will prevent from spilling the liquid to the counter. These shrimp were already cleaned and deveined, so it wasn't really much to do except peel the shell. Be sure to leave the tail on. That will help you easy to handle. Also, when you peel the shell off, make sure that the score actually did take the vein out, the deveined it. Just recheck them. Yeah, just in case. Um, then we're going to repeat the process, and now we're going to butterfly the shrimp. We're going to take the knife, cut it through. Don't cut it through all the way, because you just you don't want to hold on the other side. You just want to make it flat, so it's easy to coat and batter. At first, we are going to season them with some salt. After we sprinkle some salt, we're going to do some pepper and flip them and redo it so that they are evenly seasoned. Make sure you season all the shrimp. Then we are going to get some flour, egg, and some panko, which are breadcrumbs. Um, we're going to coat it in flour first, then dip it in egg. At last, we are going to coat them in the breadcrumb. Then, after coating them in breadcrumbs, we're going to put it on a dish and let them dry while we work on the others. Repeat the process, all the shrimp. This is what the shrimp looks like when it's drying. Don't stack them on top of each other because then it's going to start to get soggy. Um, we're going to move on to the fish now. Again, we're going to season with the salt and some peppers. We use perch fish. Be sure to flip and season the other side. We're going to do the same thing. Um, put on some salt and some pepper. And you are going to get a plastic bag and put flour and cornmeal in the bag and shake them and mix it all blended we didn't use a lot because it's only a little like a few pieces of fish use it's enough to coat them all using a plastic bag will help you reduce the cleaning up time then we're going to put the perch inside the bag all of it and then we're also going to shake it again to help them get evenly coated Make sure that every piece is coated and that there's no blank spots. Now it's time to heat up the grease. We're going to make sure that the grease is ready. We're going to put in a piece of a little breadcrumb to make sure that it's ready. It doesn't seem quite ready yet, so we're going to put in another one soon to wait for to check if it's ready. When you see the breadcrumbs bubbles and floats to the top right away, you know it's ready. It seems ready, so we are going to place the shrimp in. Do not drop the shrimp or the fish in, or the grease will splash back at you. P gently place them in. Frying the shrimp is a quick process. Just wait until they're golden, golden brown. And that, then you know they are ready. Be sure to drain all the grease before putting it on the paper towel so that they are not soggy. Drain as much grease as possible. When they are brown, just take them out of grease and drain them as much as possible. Then we're going to start putting in our perch. Again, for the perch, we're waiting for like a nice golden color. Don't want it too dark. fish because it looks like a golden color to us and then we put it on the paper towel so drain the grease and then put it on the paper towel so it can drain out some more we served our fish with some roasted uh, Brussels sprouts we seasoned them with some salt pepper olive oil and some paprika we also garnished the seafood with some lemon wedges hope you enjoy in the sea is cooking with the rain. What does, 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 what does